Thanks for checking out this book review, this horror book review, because that's pretty much all I've been doing. Although if there are some other types of books that you really want me to do some reviews on, please do that. Um, and continuing with what I've been doing, I did uh, Josh Mallerman's uh, Bird Box, then I did his Black Mad Wheel, and now I just finished this gem, Unburied Carol. Um, so I'm a fan of this. I really do like this book, and there's a lot to kind of unpack about it. I, I don't want to make this a super long video about it, but I'm going to kind of go over a few things of what I do like about this. And there's a little bit that I didn't really like, but for the most part, I think this is a really good book. I really, really enjoyed it. It's my second favorite of the Mallerman books. Granted, I've only read now three of his books. Uh, like I said, you can check out the reviews of the other ones, but um, I think I still like Bird Box the most, but this is a pretty close second, and Black Mad Wheel's like way behind that. Like, even though it's third place, it's like further back, in my opinion, because I don't really like that book. But you can check out my review for that because it is available for both of them, really. So, Unbury Carol. The concept behind this is it's a woman, and what I'm going to tell you here is kind of spoilers, but it's not really because it's right up front in the book. It happens, like, immediately, pretty much. So this is a woman who has this weird condition where it's like she goes into the super coma where people think she's dead and she can still see and hear what's going on around her, but she can't get out of it. And it's kind of like an undetermined amount of time that it'll take for her to kind of come back to life or, you know, come out of this gigantic coma. And it's been happening throughout her life, but she doesn't share this information with a lot of people. So her husband isn't necessarily a great person and she's going to be, buried that's why it's unburied carol she's going to be buried alive basically is a bad situation so what ends up happening and this isn't like a big thing someone already knows about her condition and is kind of tipped off to the fact that she's going to be buried alive and so this person then is on this journey to go get to her and save her basically so it's kind of this, but then there are other people who are involved in the story, and it's kind of this interesting thing where, like, you as you're reading, you kind of have a map in your mind. Kind of like when people are watching Game of Thrones, and they have this map in their mind, and they're like, okay, if this person's here, and this person's here, then this person's here, this person. So it's, there's kind of a bit of that that goes on while you're reading this book, where, like, someone's, like, here, and they're, like, coming. They're like, oh, I'm coming for you, I'm coming for you. But then there's someone over here, and they may have other plans, and then there's someone down here doing something, and someone over here doing something. And it's kind of like, it feels like as you're reading, everything's converging. And it's going to be some big kind of showdown in the end. And showdown is kind of a, a good way to put it because the setting of this, and this is one of the cool things about this that really hooked me on the book initially, the setting of this book is like Wild West. It's that time period. It's that type of setting where you have outlaws, you have people riding around on horses, six shooters, all that jazz. And it's a cool setting. And the other thing is, I don't, I feel like there aren't that many stories, especially horror stories that are done with a setting like that. And I'm a sucker for watching a movie or reading a book or whatever that's horror related that has an interesting setting and an interesting environment. Because so many times I feel like we're retreading the same environments, the same situations. And, you know, it's not to be said that, you know, it's not to say that you can't have new stuff in, in familiar environments and situations. It's just that when there is something totally new, it just piques my interest more, and I think it's very cool. Uh, I like more outside-the-box things, and I think Josh Mallerman is that type of author. He does a lot of outside-the-box ideas when it comes to his stories, and that's one of the reasons I'm very attracted to his writing. Uh, also, he's just a very good writer, the, the way his, his, his writing flows. And the dialogue in this is really well done. It feels authentic for the time, and it's eloquent, and it gets the point across, and it feels realistic for the characters, for the people that he created in this book. And there is a there is a villain in here. There's kind of more than one villain. There's a few villains because it's the Wild West. But there's a particular villain in this book who I think is outstandingly developed as just this quirky, weird, but terrifying and interesting character. He's, he's one of the best villains 
one of the best like new villains that I've seen come around in like literature or TV or movies or whatever in a while. And I was very into that character. I think that character is really, really cool. Um, the only thing I have to say kind of bad about this book is at the very, very end, uh, there was something that felt like it should have been resolved in a more grandiose way. And it wasn't, it, it kind of felt like it was a little too quick and instead of being like a big bang, it was like a little bit more of like a, yeah, you know, like kind of medium, like, eh, okay, and now we're done. Um, but still good. Still, the, the story is super, super solid. It's very original. It's very interesting. The whole time I was reading it, I didn't feel like I really wanted to stop at any point. Because like with Black Mad Wheel, there were numerous times I put that book down and I went like days without touching it because... I was just like, like, I want to finish this, but I just don't feel it right now. Like, I'm not, it's, you know, st stuff I'm reading and it's just not driving me to pick it back up. But with this book, I just kept going because it's very interesting. It keeps you going. And like I said, that whole thing of, like, all these people and, and forces and things just, like, coming together. And you, you feel that as you're reading. Like, like, it's all building and building and building. And, like, you're like, something's coming. Like, this is... It gets you excited for the resolution of this book, and it's a really good story, and I'm a real big fan of it. The thing is, though, um, I don't know if this is really horror. Like, there are some are some kind of horror aspects to it, but I don't know if it's really horror. So that's kind of like a negative and a positive, potentially, depending on who you are. Like, if you're looking for, like, horror, like, gore and horrific stuff and... You know, you're not going to get it in this book. But if you're a person who has an interest in this type of story and you don't want a lot of horrific stuff, you don't want a lot of gore or a lot of violence, that's not in here. So you're safe. Like, it's kind of like horror light for those people, you know. So, um, but yeah, I really like this book. I highly, 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 highly recommend it. Like I said, I like Bird Box more, but it's a totally different story. And this is just very unique and very interesting. And I dig it. I feel like I don't need to say that much more about it. I do have uh, a fourth book that I will be reading by Josh Mallerman called Inspection, which actually came out earlier this year. I don't know how soon I'm going to end up getting to that, so it might be a while before that review ends up going up because uh, I may be making a departure to um, read a leadership book by a owner, the owner and head brewer of Dogfish Head Brewing. Um, Sam Calagione. Uh, I know some people are like, oh, leadership book by a beer guy, but I like him a lot. I think he's really cool. I happen to have the book. It's signed by him because uh, I met him. And um, I'm just looking to learn some more leadership stuff, and I think it's just a good thing for people to know in your daily life. So anyway, um, sorry, that's kind of like the side tangent, but Thank you, thank you for checking this out, if you guys are checking it out. I know these videos aren't that popular because not a lot of people read these days, but there's some really amazing content out there, including Unbury Carroll, Josh Mallerman. You're killing it, man. You're doing a good job. Love it. Anyway, thank you, everyone, for checking this out. Until next time, keep it brutal.